Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build an accordion. Like if you have a section called facts or frequently asked question, for example, this is my home page and I want to add a facts section here somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe here. Why choose us and then facts. So the facts section can be added using accordion. Uh, let me show you what accordion is if you click on a question uh, then uh, the answer will appear here if you click on another question then there and then there so uh, these are called accordion and mostly used for frequently asked question so in WordPress uh, let me edit this page with Elementor first uh, but let first um, include or add uh, the plugin we use for this thing so come to plugins click on add new you must have the elementor plugin uh, because i built this plugin with uh, this page with elementor builder uh, which is free and uh, the next plugin i have to use for facts is uh, essential e -double -S, essential add-ons and press enter and this is the plugin uh, I already have this plugin installed and activated so that is why it's not showing the install button you have to install it and then click on activate uh, and then click come to the page where you want to add it and click on edit with Elementor and the Elementor visual builder will be loaded in a couple of seconds once the visual builder is loaded then scroll down to the essential add-on section here is essential add-on and search for advanced accordion so let's scroll down where you want to put your accordion uh, so here is my section or oh, let's say we have to add it above this section click on this add new and we will choose this layout two small columns and one large column so we will add the uh, accordion here but let's first just copy this title to replicate the styling of the website click here and click facts or frequently asked questions and then click here scroll down to essential add-on section and grab the advanced accordion here now this is a repeater field which means you can add multiple questions within uh, the same um, content with the same um, element so here you can choose the accordion style or toggle style uh, what accordion and toggle means if you click on first accordion and then second accordion then the first one will uh, will be closed but if you choose toggle then uh, this will be like this they will always be opened whenever you click uh, again on a tab then it will close it will be closed but if you choose accordion it means then uh, that uh, one one click will open the first uh, tab or the first answer and if you click on the second one then the first uh, question will be hidden and the new question will be mm, revealed so mm, by default there are just three questions or just three accordions uh, let's come to the content setting so here are the three main questions which are by default just come here you can um, change the icon which is minus and plus so uh, we will leave the icon as it is and this is the question how to use our website the first question with a question mark and then the answer will be you can use our website with as following method first click on link one and then link two similar something like that so the first question will be how to use your website 
or and when you click on the mm, plus button the accordion will be loaded and the answer will be revealed so when you click on the second one similarly you can change the contents by clicking this one and then click the second question this is our second question and then question mark and similarly you can change the answer for this uh, same thing for the next accordion change question question number three and the answer number three uh, you can add a new question by clicking on add items uh, and just type a question here this is custom question added and add the contents and click on update uh, now let's go to the home page by itself after it's updated and refresh the home page and let's see if the questions are loaded on the home page and does it look right so scroll down to that section facts yes click on accordion answer question answer question answer and question answer now let's see how you can style these things like the background color when hover the background color when active so come to the elementor segment again scroll up and click on style tab here uh, this is the tab style which we were talking about uh, the hover color the text color and the icon color the background type gradient using normal things so when you click on hover and then choose this and change the style here let's see then the hover color will be red come to some other color okay so that's it uh, and in the hover in the hover uh, you can change the text color as well uh, so in normal it will be this uh, hash triple three or something uh, some darker variant of gray uh, but in hover you can change the text color to maybe red let's see or white is okay but a little bit darker or yellow yellow is too much okay red is good that is not good but um, in my case I'm just uh, trying to show you so the icon color is also the same as red when hover okay and change the active to let's see what active color is right now it's still that gray but hover color is green uh, let's click on the style and active tab and then change the background to let's say red then when you hover it it will be green but when it's active it will be red similarly you can uh, change the font color the typography let's click on the typography and you can change the font style let's say we have a style name roboto click on roboto for both ta uh, tab title and content you can change the style of content by clicking here and change the typography let's say we added as times and you can see that the contents are times now times new roman and the headings are roboto so uh, that was all for today's video i hope you learned something please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss our future videos thank you